Thought you're overcalled you. You're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. Well, this evening, we're coming to you from Westport and Clare Island for the annual O'Malley Clan Gathering, hosted by this year's chieftain, Martin O'Malley, the former governor of Maryland. Anne Chambers is best known for her biography on the 16th century Irish pirate queen, Grace O'Malley. Well, you know, it all started off over 40 years ago. As I keep telling people, I was a child writer, but they don't believe it. And really, I've been on a wonderful voyage with Grace O'Malley and her family. And it really doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. And I'm not complaining. Now, you've written uh, extensively your, your biography, the whole lot. Have, have we learned anything new over the years about Grace O'Malley? Well, I certainly have learned a lot as a woman. And I think Grace O'Malley is really the iconic woman for Ireland. And she depicts so many things. You know, when I set off doing this, I knew like every other kid in the West of Ireland about the Pirate Queen. And yet when I went to my school in my school history books, she never appeared in my pages of my school history books. Why, why was that, do you think? Well, you see, she was written out of Irish history because she didn't conform to what later generations of historians wished to portray as Irish womanhood. Mm. But she, when you look and see her factual story, and it took me four years to find her, she was written out of Irish history, but it was the English state papers who wrote her into history. We have to thank them. Otherwise, we would have nothing really about factual about Grace O'Malley. And also here in Westport House, the fabulous collection of manuscripts. Imagine, Henry, I was opening 400-year-old manuscripts the first time since their authors put quill to parchment. And all of these gave me a great insight into Grace O'Malley and information, and indeed on her son, Lord Mayo, and indeed in the wider family as well. Uh, how many books have you written about her? Well, I have written the biography of Grace O'Malley and then a children's version of that because on, I didn't want children today not to be able to identify with the factual story of Grace O'Malley. And then we had Lord Mayo, which is her youngest son, Tib Ogina Long, Toby off the ships. Now, he was written into Irish history, of course, and he played a very intriguing um, possibly a very difficult to try and understand if you don't understand the time before and after Kinsale. And of course, he was one of the great survivors and I'm sure he was well taught by his enterprising mother and that. And then the other one was From Rake to Radical, which was Grace O'Malley's eighth great grandson in descent, who was known here really as a great champion of Catholic emancipation and then transferred these liberal views across the Atlantic Ocean, where he took on the awful system of slavery and was one of the proponents for the abolition of slavery in the 19th century. And that book you launched just a couple of weeks ago in Ballantubber Abbey, which is another wonderful uh, place, has an association as well. Well, Grace O'Malley's youngest son, Lord Mayo, is buried with all his, with many of his descendants in, Ballin, in the beautiful Ballantubber Abbey. And it was lovely to be able to actually touch his tomb, you know, and kind of almost connect both with him and his famous mother. Now, you're, the O'Malley clan are gathering here this weekend in Westport and Clear Island for their annual get-together. Uh, you're, you're, you're speaking to the group uh, this evening here in Westport House. So what will that speech entail? Well, I will just give them a very short, uh, very kindly ask me to do that. And I'm going to concentrate on Grace O'Malley and her direct descendants. Very interesting in that, you know, you have the gorgeous Gunnings who married into uh, British aristocracy. So the blood of Grace O'Malley... Uh, runs in many of the veins of uh, very prominent families in England. And you have people like John Brayburn, the famous um, producer of such films as Death on the Nile and Passage to India. He's also descended from. So we have a whole range of people that very unlikely that you mightn't think were connected with Grace O'Malley. Do you think there's a movie in it? 
Oh, definitely. I think not so much a movie, but I think a television series. You would need time, like I had to take time to understand this complex woman, I think, for whom the, the, uh, the, the words, I think, one woman, some woman for one woman was certainly invented. My term is coming to an end. We've elected a new Tanishta and in the O'Malley way, uh, very democratic and also in the O'Malley way, a woman. So we have our next two Taoiseachs will uh, both be women, strong women. Uh, Nano uh, O'Malley McMahon from Limerick and now this year elected just now, Grace O'Malley will be our Taoiseach next year. So uh, if I got her mother knew what she was doing, naming her Grace O'Malley. And uh, what's your year been like? It's been, it's, it, it's really been uh, a wonderful experience to uh, have, the, have the, the small responsibility for this time to keep it going. Sometimes people have asked me, well, what is the chieftain's responsibility? And I answer, to keep it going. Uh, this association, the O'Malley's have been meeting for 70 years, every year. And even during COVID, when we couldn't meet in person, we had a virtual rally and, uh, and actually expanded our reach. We've had 30,000, 40,000 people click on and view uh, some of the footage, uh, which you kindly uh, had put together for us and others. So it's been a very good year. And this is, a, a, this is going to be one of our larger turnouts. We'll probably have about 300 people on Clare Island. We have Leo Moran of the Saw Doctors. Uh, will be there, uh, no doubt singing, will you meet me on Clare Island? Well, will he meet us? Uh, and tonight we're going to have Sean Davey and Rita Conley and Donna Loney for a great concert here in town in Westport. Uh, so it's been a very good year. Uh, we are uh, moving the ball forward to preserve some of the historic uh, abbey on Clare Island, some beautiful, very old and significant frescoes that over time and with uh, you know, moisture in danger of vanishing. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we wanted to see the castle on Clare Island shorn up and uh, kind of uh, in better shape, but it had to get in line. So instead, we have Rockfleet Castle, which is totally covered in scaffolding. And um, so I'm glad that uh, that castle, which we as an association uh, made sure was kept in good repair and didn't crumble in 1953, is now going through another, uh, another uh, facelift, if you will. Do I understand that you brought a band over from America as well? My band will be playing on Clare Island. My band was humbly entitled O'Malley's March because the other two guys in it when we were a trio were named Paul Levin and Frank Schwartz, and we couldn't damn well call an Irish band Schwartz, Levin, and O'Malley. It would sound like a, a solicitor's office or something. So uh, O'Malley's March will be here. Seven members in the band, Celtic harp, trombone, electric guitar, electric bass, and drums, and we will be the uh, penultimate act right before Leo Moran uh, takes, the, uh, takes the beach and takes the bandstand fresh from Glastonbury. Cahir, look, uh, great to see you here in Westport House for the launch of the O'Malley Clan Weekend. Yes, uh, Henry, delighted to be here representing West Mio Municipal District, and it's great to see the O'Malley Clan back here. They were here a number of years ago, and I want to congratulate um, Governor Martin O'Malley from the United States who has uh, brought a big contingent of people here to uh, Westport and the West Mayo area for the weekend. And as you know, here in Westport, very important that we have visitors. It's a huge part of our local economy. The tourism provides a huge uh, employment for all the people here, and it's great. And hopefully they will, have in, they will enjoy their stay and uh, recommend Westport and the area and Clare Island that the O'Malley clan recommends it and comes back to us later on in life. And Westport House and its t total area here, it's so important for County Mayo and for Westport and huge uh, developments going on here and as you drive in here along the drive today and the beautiful flower arra arrangements that are here and there's huge investment into the future and to make Westport House a huge attraction bring in footfall into the area and the people that come into the area, spend some time in the town, spend some time in the county. It's fantastic for the area. And I want to compliment the Hughes family for having the vision to invest in Westport House. And um, it was a huge investment and it's so important for our area, Henry, that uh, that's all happening.
1985, I picked up a book at the airport. It was written by Anne Chambers, and it was told the history of Grace O'Malley uh, and her son. Uh, and I was fascinated with the history. It filled in a lot of gaps that I wasn't aware of. Uh, I met Anne Chambers. She was very inspirational, and, I, and then I set to writing some songs. Um, and I, you know, I was led by the information in her book, and then subsequently we performed it. And um, one of the best nights of my life was going to Greenwich to perform Grania Whale, the suite, the suite of songs based on Grace, Grace O'Malley, which culminate in her traveling to Greenwich in London to meet Queen Elizabeth, to argue her case. Uh, and because it was a tough times in those days. Um, and apparently the two women met and agreed, got on very well. I just thought that was amazing. So uh, to be able to perform those songs in Greenwich itself was amazing. So that's only part of my story. But uh, in general, I have to say, I found the O'Malley's to be very kind and gracious people. And I really am very fond of them. And so I'm proud to be part of this. And it was a very successful album for you, wasn't it? Well, it was. Um, in those days, I mean, I would say it's a modest success, but uh, to get to, to get a, a music like that produced and played is an achievement, and um, for it to be about something real uh, is important to me. So it's not just music, it's music and history and understanding something about our background more about it. So it's a totally different atmosphere and there's a huge crowd here and there's a lot of people from, well, I suppose globally, you know, particularly America. And, uh, and the ex-governor of Maryland is the chieftain and he's, he's brought a lot of people with him and he's, brought, he's actually brought his own band as well. So, so everyone's looking forward to a great day here in, in Clare Island today. Tom, uh, as we mentioned last time when you were chieftain there, you were the longest serving chieftain nearly by default. <laughs> well, I was. I was the longest serving chief since Grace O'Malley herself. <laughs> but uh, that was to do with the pandemic and we ran the virtual gatherings during that. They were very good as well. But it's different to have it in person. And like I suppose it's different as well to have it here in Clare Island because this is a, a very much a, a place that is very much linked to, to Grace O'Malley and, and the, the whole history around her activities and what, what she's famous for, you know. Well, you got a new role this year I as did, well. You're going yeah. into the retail business. <laughs> I, I've been charged with, the, uh, uh, I suppose, looking after the memorabilia and that for the clan. And we're, we're actually, we're out of T-shirts already. <laughs> so it's, uh, we're selling in here and, the, and, the, and it's, just, it's just to promote the sort of, it's like almost like a gig where we're kind of competing, with, competing with Glastonbury nearly. <laughs> <laughs> we're always uh, coinciding with Glastonbury, Glastonbury the last weekend in June and that didn't really affect me last year <laughs> but uh, I think uh, and you know the, the lineup is excellent today and Leo Morden and, and a lot of these very good artists are coming yeah, as you come into the community centre here there's a lovely old black and white photo exhibition yeah that exhibition is uh, Helen Hooker O'Malley and she was married to uh, uh, Ernie O'Malley you know the uh, freedom fighter and uh, her their son Cormac is here today and uh, he'd be able to answer any questions about it and and some of the prints are really beautiful and they're 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 on sale so you you, you can leave with one of them if you wish to to get one they're really nice we've also got a very a few couple of prints of of Tony O'Malley uh, painting Tony O'Malley the famous artist was associated with Clare Island as well so some of his relatives are actually attending today as well I started um, getting involved with the O'Malley clan in 2013. That was um, the year when uh, all clans of Ireland, all families of Ireland, were being encouraged to be part of a, a clan gathering. And um, Dennis O'Malley and Maru, uh, first cousin of my father's, Eamon O'Malley, who who's, was deceased in 2011, he um, suggested that I might get involved. 
and my particular interest at the time was the old family photos that everybody had in their attics in their in their in their presses and nobody got to see them anymore so I um, asked all the O'Malley clan at that time to gather all their old photos and I created an O'Malley photo book for everybody so everybody in everybody's houses all over East Limerick they got they now have all their old O'Malley photos so that was the start of it and I kind of got the bug at that stage Dennis had created an O'Malley tree it has it's 20 feet long three feet wide printed document and um, there are over 2,000 O'Malley names on it and I was blown away by it I'm a primary school teacher and one of the first things I did is I took it to the primary school and I put it out across the classroom floor and I said boys and girls I'm in this my name is Nano O'Malley can you find me and they spent that was the best history lesson of the year looking through it all and finding all the links and everything a great way to learn about family trees so that was my start of the O'Malley clan and then of course then was invited to be a Taunishta and then chieftain and he um, got me onto the committee at that stage and it was my first time being involved in the O'Malley clan gathering worldwide and um, it was lovely meeting the diaspora from all over the world I thought it was a brilliant way to start and after that I went to Sarah Kelly's uh, in um, Clare Galway um, who her event was magnificent um, in Clare Galway Castle and um, and I got the bug at that stage and I've been going ever since and it's been yeah, brilliant. You were in the visit to Taunashta yourself. Last year um, Dennis nominated me to be Taunashta and uh, had a chat with me and said it would be a great idea and I decided yes I would love it. Um, I'm going to bring the O'Malley clan gathering to Limerick next year um, for the last weekend the 28th to the 30th of um, June um, we'll have the O'Malley clan gathering in Limerick and I have block booked the Bunratty Castle banquet for the Saturday night so every we're, and you can come dressed in medieval O'Malley clan everybody can be a grace O'Malley for that night the ladies and the men as well can, and can dress up so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it um, I, it's my first time in Clare Island here today for um, home of Grace O'Malley Martin O'Malley's um, uh, clan um, gathering and it's wonderful to be here in this special place. It was the first clan that decided to organise themselves. And you'd have to say the legendary Grania Whale is the centrepiece. It's the glue that keeps us all together and keeps our interest. We're going to keep going very interested in it because in 2030, it'll be the 500th anniversary of the birth of Grania Whale. So I think hopefully that'll be a national event rather than, as we have it now, regional events or local events. It'll be tough for the incoming chieftain for that particular year. There's been so much happening. Oh, the, she, whoever it is will be a very big person. If I had to say I'd love it to be a woman to represent Grania Whale, and that would be, I think, fitting. Because, you know, Grania Whale, great woman. That's the reality. You know, going back, uh, and she did achieved great things in hard times. So what's your role now this year with the, uh, with the clan? Uh, I'm just part of the, you might say, executive or management committee. I dealt mainly with uh, the Westport event, which was held in Holy Trinity last night. It was a concert, great concert altogether. So I did the liaison on the ground in relation to the concert. But So I'm half an Ackle man, and Grania Whale is someone I was taught about by my mother and my grandmother, God rest her soul, um, since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. So I'm here with my mum. This is the O'Malley connection here, and uh, that's, that's why we came. My great-great-great-grandmother, three times great-grandmother, was Celia O'Malley from Slevemore. She was married to, I understand, a Dominic Beasy, and um, that's my connection with the O'Malleys. And is this your first time attending the O'Malley clan, right? It, it is, actually. And uh, the, the, the way I ended up coming was Martin O'Malley, the current chieftain, um, uh, Martin and I have been friends for many years. Martin was the mayor of Baltimore and two-time governor of, of Maryland. And uh, I got to know Martin back in the very early 2000s through other mutual friends who were also here. And uh, we became friends. And, uh, and then when Martin was uh, made chieftain for the year, he said, you got to come. And I said, you know, I do. <laughs> but I'm bringing my mother. So, so here we are.
Trisha, love to see you here on Clear Island. You've had quite a journey in music from Chicago to the White House, playing for a number of presidents, including uh, President Joe Biden uh, recently. I did. I played from when he came over the last time, and uh, it was just such an exceptional experience to be around in Ireland when he was here. He did brilliant. I'm thrilled for him, and I believe he's running again, so that'll be great. I uh, played for Clinton. Back in 2000, when he came to Dundalk after the signing of the, the peace um, agreement, and then again when he came back to celebrate the 25th year, played in Belfast for him, and I've played for Obama as well. <laughs> I've played for some of our own presidents too, though. Yeah, Mary Play- McAleese be one of them. Mary Mal- McAleese was one of them. Um, and then in the Garden of Remembrance for the 1916 commemoration with our own president there, Michael D. So, and you're based in Chicago, so yeah. uh, you're doing a lot of traveling. And I also want to tell me about your experience playing in the White House. Well, what can I say? Playing in the White House was just fabulous. You can't really top that, can you? Um, I thought I was just performing, um, like in a, like a, the, like a drinks reception type thing. So I wasn't too worried about it. And then the social secretary rang me the day before and he said, you need to come in and have a walk through in the White House, sound check, whatnot. And I was going, okay, this is probably a bit more of a big deal. And when I got there, there was a stage set up. There was 250 chairs. It was a seated concert that I was doing. So I was going, oh, I'm really glad I didn't know that about that sooner. But it was absolutely fabulous. And of course... We had a nice reception afterwards, after the concert in the White House, got to stay there for a few hours and that was it. It's one of the reasons you're here on Clear Island. Your husband is an O'Malley. Yes, I just married into the O'Malley clan last December. I have a jacket to prove it. This is O'Malley. (laughs) So, um, yes, so when the governor O'Malley asked me would I play, I could hardly refuse. But this is fabulous. Isn't it so cool to be on the island? Never been here before. I will definitely be back. It's perfect. Great. I'm looking forward to performing here very shortly. Very shortly. Can't wait. <laughs> we wish you well with it, Patricia. Thanks, Henry. Thanks so Well much. done to everyone associated with the very successful O'Malley Clan gathering in County Mayo. Now, next year's event will take place in Limerick towards the end of June. And more information available on the O'Malley Clan Association website. So, until next week, at the same time, stand the phone. Skinny dead man